was able to switch as a data analyst within 100 days. Joined Cognizant as a manual tester with a salary of 12,000 uh, per month. My current gross uh, CTC uh, is 17 LP. For a data analyst, you need not to be pro in coding. I applied in more than 400 companies uh, wow. for my first switch to become a data analyst. Due to some financial problems, of family, I was not able to took admission in engineering as uh, I have completed BSc IT, so uh, my resume didn't get selected. Hello, data lovers! I hope you all are doing really well. Our talented guest speaker is currently working as a data analyst in top product-based company, which is Mintra. But her journey was not that straightforward. Coming from a tier three college opted for the bsc stream now you can even imagine how challenging that was for her to move into the it industry coming from the bsc stream she and her family faced a lot of financial challenges but somehow she managed to move into the it industry but role was the manual testing the compensation wasn't good but when she got to know about the data analytics domain within 100 days she prepared herself and moved into this top product based company as a data analyst so that is why this podcast can be an eye opener for everyone who is an aspiring data analyst data professional so make sure to watch it till the very end also give a thumbs up to this video so that this amazing story can reach to maximum aspiring data professional and if you haven't subscribed my hindi channel yet then link is in the description do it right now so thank you so much chakra for joining me in this podcast just give a quick introduction to the audience so that they can know more about you uh, my name is chakra shmeem i was born and brought up in ranchi from where i completed all my education that is my schooling intermediate and graduation then i joined cognizant as my first job then continued with miq and after going through many situations and all i am finally in mintra working as a data analyst well, let's start with your schooling time share something about your schooling and college days how was that time period and what all things you went through actually shashank i have completed my 10th from hindi medium and after scoring good marks in 10th i took admission in english medium where i was still in doubt whether i will pass or uh, not after putting all my effort because i was facing english problem and besides i didn't join any coaching but i managed to score with 65 percentage and after that due to some financial problems of family i was not able to took admission in engineering due to which i took admission in an affordable college of rachi uh, marwari college for bsc it course my college was a uh, tier 3 uh, tier 3 college where they only certify you with degrees and named exams and even did, didn't assure you with your placement but still i wanted to build up something inside me and courage up my potential uh, it seems to me to be directionless with no guidance in college and no teacher just all alone finding a way to achieve what i desire in this world where the network could attract or distract you and that's why i started learning different different technologies like python c++ java dc etc etc blindly not knowing whether it will help me in getting a job or not so these were the main challenges through which i went through in my college life your story is going to be an inspiration for a lot of uh, female candidates and especially like everyone male candidate itself if you are passing through with these kind of situation so you are a really good example so definitely hit a like for this podcast for sure so that at least chakra's story can reach to maximum number of people and she can create a huge impact on the data analyst community so moving on to next question chakra like after completing your graduation from bsc it which you mentioned tier 3 college and like uh, random situations where and how did you get your first job how much salary you were getting in the beginning of your career uh, as i told you i was blindly learning different different technologies python c++ java i was not knowing that what will be my end when i was in my final year i came to know that some companies are hiring for off campus uh, for programmer training and this is the uh, 
testing job profile and I got that link from telegram after getting many rejections uh, I got selected in Infosys and Cognizant and then uh, finally I uh, joined Cognizant as a manual tester with a salary of 12,000 uh, per month. I'm, I'm very surprised to know that you started your career as a manual tester and now working as a data analyst in Mintra. So how did you get that motivation for this type of career transition? How much time did it take for you to achieve this goal? And what kind of challenges did you face during this transition? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't that easy for you. At the time when I joined Cognizant, I wanted to switch this company because being a manual tester, I could not satisfy myself with this to be my career. After five to six months, I was just scrolling YouTube videos and suddenly my gaze stopped at your video and I in, uh, interestingly opened this uh, but when I have gone through the content you are sharing that how to be a data analyst belonging from non-technical -te uh, background uh, really made my attention and I started searching more about data analyst role uh, though I was not knowing what data analyst is actually. Uh, and if you ask about the challenges, the very first challenge I faced uh, was when I uh, was going through YouTube and Google, I learned that to become a data analyst, there are too many things to learn like SQL, Python, Excel, R, Tableau and Power BI etc. Uh, due to which I got confused about uh, what specifically I should prepare. But I took that as a challenge and started studying with focus uh, due to which I was able to switch as a data analyst within 100 days. I divided my 100 days into uh, for a specific uh, time period and, start, uh, and started my journey. Like in this time period I have to complete SQL. Uh, for 1 to 20 days I have to complete stats and all. Likewise, I completed all this, all my uh, studying within 100 days. And I haven't heard someone like who is working in testing background and crack the data analyst role that to in a good product based company within 100 days. So this is definitely a milestone, a really great achievement. So kudos to your efforts. How did you prepare? What kind of skill sets did you acquire? Just reveal all your secrets, all your strategies, because as you mentioned, right, you got confused in the very beginning. So if you can highlight all those things which people should focus in the beginning and how they can study, how they can prepare resources, whatever you want to help them. Uh, so initially I found many difficulties in figuring out uh, what I should focus more. To avoid this, I start uh, I started going through different uh, JDs uh, like uh, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, what, yeah job description on landing for a data analyst role and from there I figured out that uh, SQL, Python, Excel and some basics of stats these four things are something which are commonly required for every data analyst role and then I started my journey to prepare these technologies and while preparing I got to know that only watching videos and studying much uh, from different sources will not help me much and the uh, theory knowledge is not important. So I have to practice and I have to do more hands-on. So after that, I started practicing hands-on on, in, in SQL and Python on platforms like HackerRank, LeadCode and DataLemo, which boosted my con confidence. And for Excel, what I mainly focused on were, uh, were case studies in Excel, which anyone can find easily on YouTube. And for stats, I watched some videos on YouTube. Thank you, first of all, sharing this one. And guys, let me know in the comment section as well. Uh, right, what's your opinion about the data and this preparation? What kind of skill set do you think are very demanding nowadays? Because common skill set, we all know the Python, SQL or the stats or the Excel. So let me know if you have applied for the interviews of the data analyst role and they ask something different. So please put it in the comment section. How did you get the interview calls? I think this would be the most interesting topic to ask because again, the testing background. So like, how did you get the interview opportunity for the data analyst role? Did you face rejections as well? If yes, then what was the reason? For interview opportunities too, initially I struggled a lot in his resume shortlisting. 
uh, as uh, I have completed BSc IT, so uh, my resume didn't get selected. But I never give up in applying and constantly improving my resume according to the job descriptions. Along with applying uh, to jobs, I followed one strategy of making networks on LinkedIn and directly asking to random connections for referral, which helped me a lot in getting interviews scheduled. Uh, you might surprise to know that I applied in more than 400 companies uh, wow. for my first switch to become a data analyst. And I got interviewed at only 20 plus companies. I faced rejections from the first 9 to 10 companies. And uh, But while giving interviews, I follow one uh, strategy. I started making notes of every question uh, which was asked to me in interview and believe me, after facing some rejections, I started clearing interviews very easily. You talked about your initial salary. So after making this career transition, right, since you interviewed at multiple companies, so where did you end up, right? What, what salary bracket you were able to achieve? How's it going for you according to the salary satisfaction part? Yeah, uh, talking about my salary, if I compare my current salary from the salary which I was getting as a manual tester, I can say that I got more than 600% hike uh, within a span of uh, 5 to 6 months. My current wow. gross uh, CTC uh, is 17 LPA. I, I want to touch upon a very important question. I think Shakra, you might have received from a lot of people. How much coding is required to become a data analyst? Because you mentioned the Python part. And when we, when we think about a programming language, the main thing comes into our head, like typical DSA, those uh, like typical coding level questions. So how is your experience on that part, the coding percentage in the data analyst role? Uh, I would say for a data analyst, you need not to be pro in coding. In some cases, Python or R is required, but not that much. So you only need to be aware of the basic syntax of Python. Uh, don't go much deep in DSA. Uh, you have to be clear uh, with the syntax of Python. You have to be clear with the syntax and uh, the basic functions of Python. And after clearing these things, you need not to go deep dive on Python and uh, doing some advanced courses uh, and hands on on Python. You have to jump on uh, some uh, data analysis library like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib. And uh, for preparing these things, I would suggest one should do as many as a uh, case study they can do on the required libraries. It will boost their confidence too. When you were interviewing, right? So was there any moment when interviewers were more interested about your past background like hey you were manual tester what you did there and how suddenly the data analyst part and since even prior to your current job right you had no experience in the data analyst uh, real world projects kind of thing so how did you manage that part how did you convince them yeah firstly they said me that uh, you don't have relevant experience uh, but uh, but you have I am very much confident about my skills and whatever they ask me I uh, I used to give them a three or four answer like uh, they ask me questions uh, about how you can uh, eliminate those data which is not required in this in the data set I uh, I used to give answer in multiple ways like I can do this and I can do the, uh, this way also and they are uh, like um, impressed with my answers. So I am just confident with my skills. Did you hide your previous experience and projects from the resume or uh, you just uh, like mention everything and you showcased some demo projects which you prepared for the data analyst role? I prepared many uh, projects for data analyst because it is necessary. I don't have relevant experience in data analyst. So uh, I did some projects with the help of YouTube and I reflected that projects in my resume. And at the time of resume, I am very much clear with my projects that uh, whatever the question they will ask me, I will be able to give them appropriate answer. Uh, and uh, totally I mentioned in my resume that I was uh, a manual tester, programmer trainee. Chakra also can you highlight the interview part as well let's say you uh, you cracked the Mintra right a well known product based company so how was that interview process for you like the rounds what kind of things were 
like those interviewers were asking uh, it was quite tough for me <laughs> i think i could say uh, there are four uh, there were four rounds uh, one was technical uh, two was again uh, one was written and the second was technical again third was uh, in visualization they are checking my uh, ability that i can make dashboards on uh, or not and fourth uh, was uh, managerial round and fifth was hr round Uh, so um, first they asked me about uh, uh, sql and what are the concepts i am having and they give me multiple questions and uh, they give me some ba- business case studies that uh, in this case w- uh, what you think that uh, how you can grow your business what are the cases where business is lacking and uh, uh, f- and then next uh, next round they check my python uh, skill and uh, and uh, they are checking that whether i can do the analysis in python or not and whether i can do the same thing in uh, sql and python or not and uh, and fourth round uh, they are just uh, checking um, uh, my business ability business intelligence like um, in this situation what i can do and uh, what will be the answer and uh, in this situation what i have to suggest to my business and organization since you have been through with these kind of tough situations so try to imagine like there are thousands of people uh, who are standing in front of you and they belong to the same background like you and passing through same situation so how would you like motivate them so that they can also feel motivated uh, like you and they also try to gain the confidence and never give up attitude and cracking their dream job for the data analyst role i would suggest that okay, uh, don't be so much confused uh, while choosing the technologies required for data analysis uh, wisely and work on them thoroughly and if you are not an engineer then please don't think that you cannot get a better job and you cannot earn more money uh, just try to acquire skills the skills is important not your degree and be uh, and keep patiently applying be consistent if you can achieve this uh, if i can achieve this then anyone can achieve and i don't we, uh, and uh, i would suggest that don't waste your money in buying expensive courses uh, required things that are present in free also so be focused and uh, keep doing a good work after every hardship there is always a ease Uh, so all the best and go for it this is the sweetest ending of this podcast so first of all thank you so much shakra for inspiring a lot of people sharing your personal experience your your journey i i can feel it right what all things you went through because somehow i also belong to that bsc background so i can totally relate uh, right uh, the your educational environment the financial condition uh, conditions you had right it's totally relatable and i think this is super informative it will help a lot of people so thank you so much from my side from the entire audience side and uh, kudos to your efforts and all the very best for for your beginning as a data analyst many more to come uh, thanks thanks a lot shashank so that's what i had for this podcast i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed the entire journey of shakra and i'm hoping you all are also feeling really motivated and inspiring if yes you find it informative then quickly quickly give so many likes to this video also if you are new to the channel smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing story about a data professional till then just keep exploring data